Anime, anime, anime TV chat. Hello and welcome to Anime TV's first ever blooper reel. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh Nick, you make it look so easy. Well, that's mostly down to the wonder of editing. In fact, I normally mess up about 50 times a video. Who thought talking would be so hard? Lupin the Third reminds me quite a lot of James Bond during the Pierce Brosnan era. era. <laughs> she is an evil little pixie that would quite happily send hundreds of innocents to their slaughter, as long as it would guarantee her a day. <laughs> guarantee her a day's little bit bad. Alongside the killer fights and good script, another thing that such uh, shines. In all of Joe's fights, he pretty much just gets punched in the face for 12 rounds before eventually land <laughs> landing before eventually landing the killer blow. And well, if getting punched in the face is what's being <laughs> But there's a lot easier there there are there are a lot easier ways. Flowers of Evil isn't colourful, energetic, or fast paced. Colour co colours of evil, fuck off, you dick. And well, that's pretty much what I expected from this show. A voyage of self-discovery paired with a meaningful right let him that <laughs> The meaningful story paired with the loud characters just didn't work for me. And it made the sh in bed. <laughs> Until next time, if you have time, perhaps you should perhaps yeah. In fact, talking is so hard that on occasion I've actually been known to invent my own words. I'm sure the writers will argue that they needed the father to be a bit, uh, be a villain. What's a fucking villain? But Luffy, uh, Luffy, who the fuck's Luffy? But it's not just talking that can be a pain in the ass. Sometimes even the simple act of reading can be an absolute disaster. The show doesn't rely on big laughs, but instead silly moments and quick one liners. <laughs> one liners. I know, o I know, Oost anime fans, and the dick, <sighs> and the difficulty. <sighs> now, most errors are one-offs, but every now and again, I can find myself getting stuck in a loop with one particular word, phrase, or even the name of a studio. And to be honest, studio does studio does X. And to be honest, studio does studio does X. Megalobox's script and retro art style may defy. <sighs> May defied. Megalobox's script and retro art style may defy. Defied. Oh no, I defied an opinion. Megalobox's script and retro art style may defy. Defied. Megalobox's script and retro art style may defy. Megalobox's script and retro art style may divide opinion, but no one can deny. <laughs> Megalobox's script and retro art style may divide opinion. But no one can deny. <laughs> Fuck, why can't I say D's? If you decide to watch this. <laughs> oh, fucking. If you decide to watch this show. <laughs> if you decide to watch this. <laughs> why can't I say this show? And well, these endless fuck ups can be frustrating. Really, really frustrating. And well, you can tell the voice actress has had an absolute. <laughs> Some of which will make you laugh, others which will make you sigh in despair. There is no line that this show won't crop there. <laughs> now, talking is hard. We can all agree on that one. But trust me, it's a lot harder when you have a poorly written script to work with. A quote on the DVD case suggests that Flowers of Evil is the antithesis of the modern perky anime. Uh, that's a mouthful. A quote on the DVD case suggests that Flowers of Evil is the antithesis of the modern high school perky Perky high school. Fuck off. Rotoscoping really is the perfect pairing with the dra drama genre. I knew that was gonna fuck me up. Now, I've blamed a lot of my errors on my inability to talk properly, but sometimes a YouTuber is let down by other factors, like his body or even a prop. I know most anime fans will despise this art style, but I could watch it all day. Fuck off, bit of paper. Oh, fucking pins and needles! Ah! I also forget my lines, and on occasion it appears that I don't even know what a show's about. Anu Hanna is about a dead girl who comes back to doesn't come back to life. That's bullshit. Although they do have potential, they 
Although they do have potential, they... Fuck you. <laughs> Although they have potential, they... We've watched all the training episodes, seen our heroes overcome endless hurdles, and something. <laughs> I think my recommendations here are pretty obvious. So much so that I don't know them. Um... <laughs> now, when you make YouTube videos, it's important to keep things fresh. And that means trying something different. And well, some of these new ideas probably never should have seen the light of day. Guten Tag and welcome to Anime TV! I am your host, Operation Blitzkrieg, and today I'll be reviewing Saga of Tanya the Evil! <laughs> that was bad. Okay, Nick, drop the accent and say that again without laughing. <laughs> Guten Tag and welcome to Anime TV. I'm your host, Operation Blitzkrieg, and today I'll be reviewing <laughs> Saga of Tanya the Evil. <laughs> Now, you should always save the best for last. So here it is, my favourite blooper of the year. Enjoy. At first, Hansa normally refuses, but then he eventually gives in, goes along, and has a great time, and finds something beautiful about the island's rural way... Rural, rural way of life. Fuck. Anyway, that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching. This video was a lot of fun to make, so I hope you've enjoyed it too. And until next time, remember, talking is hard. P.S. Don't forget to support this small channel by subscribing and watching some of our other videos.